Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Rome Trace. I rode this binding at Copper Mountain on a sunny bluebird day with high gusts of wind, perfect hero snow, perfect groomers, chop, chunder, you know, little bit of slush mixed in there for good measure, and I rode it on my Ride Shadowband snowboard with my K2 Thraxxus boots. When it comes to adjustability on this binding, the big story is two set screws on the heel for lengthening and shortening that. Those also house where you can rotate the high back if that's your thing. So you gotta kind of play around with how it sits in that track, as well as if you need to take off your heel straps, that's it. So it's all one piece in one. Not really a big fan of that, but whatever. Then you've also got push pins on the toe, so you can push it down, pull it up if you wanna move it forward or backwards. You got flip tabs on the heel and toe strap. You have a forward lean adjustment on the high back. And finally, the foot pad can slide forward or backwards a little bit if you need to dial it in under your boot. When it comes to the straps, the heel strap is Rome's ProFlex, which is the first generation Oxtech strap. So there's no excess padding in that. All that's gonna come from the boot. This will contour around your instep and really lock down. It slightly stretches when you really crank it down. And that's supposed to give strength to the Oxtech. I will say this, this version of the strap tended to rip over time. So you'd get like these small tears in there something to just be aware of with it. Now, with the toe strap, you got this huge cutout that will fit over just about any boot shape. It's a little more rigid than the heel strap. You can just sort of feel it grip and it does create little bits of pressure right around the ratchet. It digs into the boot, so it's not the best toe strap out there. It'll get the job done. I think that they do make better toe straps. With the ratchets, the one finger quick release works exceptionally well. Their ratchets are just so dialed in. They climb well, they grip, they stay locked. You never have to worry about it. They do everything that you would want them to do. I never had any premature release. They didn't slip when they were climbing. They didn't tear apart the ladder. I'm not saying that they can't. I just never had that issue. When it comes to the high back, there's a lot of play in this thing. You can really feel that when you're just tweaking around on it, but when you drive back, it's got enough girth that you actually feel some response. It's not the most responsive high back, but there's enough in there that if you're on a heelside carve, it's there. What's cool is you do have that forward lean adjustment. You flip it up, slide it up, slide it down. This is pretty much universal on all Rome high backs. It is very easy to work with. You don't have to worry about it. This is a soft flexing binding. I mean, it's it's soft. You can really feel the give laterally in it. The straps have a ton of give fore and aft. So when you're going toe to heel, you're gonna feel that strap have a bunch of give. If you have a stiffer boot, it'll be more responsive. If you have a mid flex or a softer boot, it's not gonna be as responsive to it. And with that slight medium, schmedium mini disc, this one will actually fit a two by four pattern. Uh, you do get more play with it. So overall, softer flexing binding, it's not super, super soft, but it's definitely not middle of the road. The ride of this binding is actually smooth. It does a good job of dampening. You've got that pad right there on the bottom. It absorbs chatter for the most part. I mean, bigger jarring hits will actually seep up through the base of the binding, through the footbed, and you'll feel them in the sole of your boot. But for the most part, for what this binding actually is, it does a great job of when you're just getting into slightly rutted out terrain or it's like frozen quarter and you're going over it, you're not getting that foot fatigue. Who's this binding for? Someone that's just starting out that needs a solid binding. At the end of the day, this isn't the worst binding I've been on, it's not the best. It's got solid trickle down technology from Rome's higher end products and some of their older higher end products. So basically anything that got revamped, they trickle it down, it's ended up here. For what this binding is, it's great. It's gonna work well, people aren't gonna have a problem with it. Are there features that I don't like with it? Sure, I don't like the fact that the heel cup screw works with the heel strap and the high back all as one, that's just me. But at the same time, I like that you get aux tech. I like that you've got your flip tabs. I like that you've got solid dampening underfoot. At the end of the day, if you just need a meat and potatoes binding because you're starting out and you don't want to progress past it super fast, this is a good option. 
Comparable bindings, the Battalion Fly, the Ride C4, the Union STR. This has been my review of the Rome Trace. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own a pair? Are you going to buy a pair? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about these bindings. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video. Thank mm -hmm. you.